why this city is so darn desolate. I could sneak into my neighbor's yard and abduct a herd of cattle. There ain't a varmint within a 20 mile radius of this place who will admit that they are collecting unemployment insurance while earning cash under the table for unreported work. How the heck is anyone supposed to pay all their bills on $1,700 a month? Don't let all this mortgage waving stuff fool you. There is always a trade-off. What you don't pay for now, you will pay more for later. Remember, dear people, these forbearance things mean you are putting a pause on your mortgage payments for a few months. In addition, depending on your loan servicer, interest can continue to accumulate during the forbearance period, which may increase the overall cost of the mortgage. While I was flossing my teeth in the employee restroom of the art barn in Osting in 2005, I didn't know where I would be in March 2008. During this deep and purposeful cleaning, I came up with the idea for my Holocaust Memorial Six Million. But I was unaware that 28% of my income would get chiseled away by a new business owner with her nose jammed in a small business textbook. My mom has been encouraging me to save money since I was six years old. Under her tutelage, I could save enough money for such things as an oversized plush German Shepherd, a snare drum and cymbal, bass guitar and amplifier, a 10-speed bicycle, my first car, oodles of different art materials, and the art studio of my dreams. So when the housing market crash struck like a Kansas tornado, I was ready to transform my life with help from the cushion of money mom had taught me to save. The aim of this reconstruction project was to find a new way to earn regular income while preserving the artistic career I had been busting my ass to develop for over 20 years. We all have our wars. Some are more dangerous than others. I have watched people I love lose their battles with cancer. I have witnessed brilliant minds shrivel under that evil spell we call dementia. And I have seen too many parents bury their children. I need to take us to Europe during the Second World War because a band of cuckoos controlled by an even bigger cuckoo tried to annihilate an entire people and failed. I believe these queer birds failed because you can't snuff out the human spirit. Yes, we all have to walk around looking like outlaws or Gene Simmons when he was dating Cher. And for an undetermined time period, we can't do such activities as attend a concert, dine out, or get a haircut. Eventually, the day will come when we can go to the store and see the following items neatly displayed on the shelves. Isopropyl alcohol, hand sanitizer, disinfectant wipes, bathroom tissue, 
paper towels, and food staples with generous shelf lives. The Blitz was a German bombing campaign against the United Kingdom during the Second World War. In short, they bombed London during the daytime or at night for 57 consecutive days in 1940 and 1941. I remember reading the story about a woman living in London who got a bomb dropped next to her house. From that day forward, she was her community's rock, and they would hear her proclaiming, they bombed me, they bombed me. Her mantra was born from the fact that she felt invincible because the Germans tried to kill her with a bomb and missed. Civil rights activist Fred Shuttlesworth survived after the Ku Klux Klan detonated 16 sticks of dynamite beneath his bedroom window on December 25th, 1956. Shuttlesworth took it as a sign that God would protect him on the mission that made him a target, and he renewed his commitment to integrate Birmingham's buses, lunch counters, police force, and parks. In late 2015, seven-year-old Sailor Gutzler survived the crash of the private plane that killed her parents, sister, and cousin. In near freezing temperatures and with her wrist broken, Sailor walked about a mile through the dark woods and sticker wearing only a t-shirt, shorts, one sock, and no shoes to a stranger's house for help. The length Sailor was willing to go to find help brings to mind the following assertion from Chapter 5 of Alcoholics Anonymous, and it goes like this. If you have decided you want what we have and are willing to go to any length to get it, then you are ready to take certain steps. It is up to you to decide whether this length will be the plank extending from the side of a pirate ship or a pilgrimage to your Jerusalem.